Hello everyone, and welcome to this Student Success Minute. I'm Tiffany Reardon, Program Manager for the USG's Affordable Learning Georgia Initiative, and I'm here to talk with you all about open educational resources. If you've ever heard the term open educational resources before, it's likely been in connection with the cost of higher education. Research has shown, as you can see here, that the cost of course materials does impact student success. The fact is, students have to make decisions about whether to spend the money on course materials or other life necessities, such as food. So if they aren't in a position to spend that money on a textbook, it's going to negatively affect them. After all, as educators, we're always trying to drill it into students that they need to read the textbook if they're going to succeed in the class. So you might be familiar with the connection between OER and the cost of education, but what you may not have heard about is the copyright factor. Copyright is the official allowances and restrictions that come with any creative work, including academic, like textbooks, that tell you what you can and can't do with it. Most of our textbooks from major publishers have strict copyright restrictions, and those restrictions create barriers for teaching and learning. Open educational resources are course materials that are free to use and allow for the 5R permissions. OER can be retained, meaning that you can save a copy, Reused, meaning that you can use that copy. Revised, meaning that you can change that copy. Remixed, meaning that you can mix that copy with something else. And redistributed, meaning that you can share the new thing you made out of it. OER are usually associated with Creative Commons licensing. Creative Commons licenses are a free copyright license that you can place on your work to tell people that it is OER and you can do these things with it. The common restrictions with CC licensing are attribution, meaning that anyone can use the work for any purpose as long as they attribute it back to the original work. Non-commercial, meaning that anyone can use the work as long as they don't try to sell it or the new version. Share alike, meaning that anyone can use the work as long as their new version is licensed with the same CC license. And no derivatives, meaning that anyone can share the work as long as they don't change it. Because you can't change an ND work, those works are not considered OER, but they're still free to use. If I've piqued your interest with this, I encourage you to visit affordablelearninggeorgia.org to learn more.